Welcome everyone, we're back with more Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr. We found our uh, missing tech priest, uh, and we chased down and killed a whole bunch of um, feral beasts, a gang that calls themselves the Feral Beasts. But yeah, so now we get to change our mission. Uh, we are going to be heading to someplace else. Uh, we got a request to do another mission at Aethon Prime. Um, the interesting thing about that, though, is that it's not part of our main mission, apparently. Like a submission. And... Yeah, the... Uh, It's like the only one has to come on. Alright, let's do that. How do the feral beasts make me feel? Uh, like they're just the tip of the iceberg. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna head over to Iona 4. <coughs> there doesn't seem to be a quest here, though, even though they said it was on this portal. I guess it won't open until later. The depths below. An ocean planet. Uh, oh, we read this. Okay. Okay. Here we are. Okay. Inquisitor Hel Helena Gossel wants me to investigate a series of strange disappearances in the Aethon system. It is a strange situation. Technically, she can't give me orders. I'm an independent agent of the Imperium who answers to no one, practically. Though, refusing such a demand from a high ranking senior Inquisitor may be unwise, especially if this Inquisitor is a well known, devout Puritan. Indeed. Also, the video she showed us had three dudes in uh, what looked like power armor, but they had like fucking scales on one of them, green scales. The other one was like a red with like demon horns. This one's weird because it's on the one planet, it's on the other. Chaos Marines. Yeah, they were very cool. And they were talking about doing evil things. They had evil machinations, if you will. But yeah, Jeremy, how's your day treating you so far? Hey, priest, I'm in the Underhive to investigate the case of mass disappearances. Talk to me. Information schematics received from Adeptus Arbites operatives have been analyzed. The abduction cases indicate cult activity. Data coverage is insufficient, but this is the location where most abductees disappeared. Can you scan the aerial? Until now, only the Underhivers have been affected, but the abductions are beginning to threaten the stability of the Hive itself. We have no time to lose. Agreed. Current procedure is inefficient. Deploying Scryer Skull units immediately. Initiating data gnostic litanies. I will follow the trails into the Underhive. Contact me when you have something. Okay. So you're not sure which Legion the scaly one was from, but the red guy is from the World Eaters, and the one in the black is from the Black Legion. This is a chaos cultist, apparently. Has it ever happened in the Warhammer universe where a uh, common civilian accidentally killed a space marine? For a purpose? You guys fought Romeo Gildenstern. He's got home from lunch, dreading tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Is it like your big day or. You don't normally work Thursday, do you? Today Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, right? Look at my speed. I'm a quickie. 
That's shooting me like him. So I've region a bit here. <clears throat> yeah, four stores. Uh, you work Thursday this week because Good Friday. Okay. Yeah, four stores tomorrow and a total of 18 skids between four of them. I might not work Good Friday, actually. I don't know. Uh, I think my coworker offered to take it. Seven. Which I'm getting close to the end of the game, I think, so. I just, I'm just working on chocobo racing right now. Just why the hell not? Loading. Look at that, that was just sick. I can't just say I'm ready for my spinal phase. The fuck is spinal phase? Reconnaissance ritual completed. Three locations identified with the highest likelihood of yielding further intelligence. Crazy on a sire. So wait. Why do the uh Why do the um, tech freaks get away with worshiping somebody who's not the emperor? Are they allowed to do that? Is that a thing in the Warhammer universe? Or do they also worship the emperor? They are allowed. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. You know that way, this way, or down. Well, there's a uh, tech uh, priest shrine over here. Let's go do that. To the chocobo racing music have been uh, crazy chocobo. It would have been nice. Uh, however, uh, I will say this. I think one of the uh, tracks from uh, chocobo racing was actually inspired by FF13 2 or 13. I'm a chocobo. I actually do not hate the Chocobo racing in this, except it's one race I'm having a lot of trouble on. Just because, for some reason, on this particular race, my character doesn't like to do uh, the drifting you're supposed to do. And yeah, it's kind of annoying. That's right. Your chocobos can drift. These agnostics are becoming extremely difficult due to interference. But there is a high probability of harmful devices in your vicinity. Activating penitent circuits on the data serps for their sluggish processing. Oh shit, we are dying. gonna die, but we're gonna open this chest as well. Okay. Good thing they left the teleportation thing in there. Okay, that was my next question, was asking 
if the Omnissiah is the Emperor. The lore behind the Adeptus Mechanicus gets weird even by 40k standards. Did you tell them all the way back to the beginning? Uh, no, it didn't. It just... The map was flipped. Okay. How do you feel about the Adeptus Mechanicus, though? Are they your favorite part of Warhammer? Ninja Thief action. Will you be saying that after the knowledge I'm about to bequeath upon you? Alright, get ready for it. DMX started the Adeptus Mechanicus. See, when she started them, they were called the uh, Adeptus Ship Canicus. My 17 Raid. We bring dozens to the furnace, but uh, this cattle is weak. They don't give strength to the flame. The furnace is always hungry. Need more blood, more souls, and more screams. The second son told us he knows. Told us this. He knows. Yes, he knows the truth. He touched it. I, I saw. The upworlders say we are nothing, but we know better. We are the forsaken sons, and we are strong. He told us we could become sons and brothers and get the sparks of the truth. We will burn down the teachings of the false emperor. I want to receive the truth. I need more time to the furnace. I need to bring more to the furnace. I will become next son. Glory to Forsaken Sons! There is nothing else to know. The corruption seems to seep into the depths of the Underhive. I must press on. We've actually done our mission, but uh, there might be more stuff here, so hang on. Yeah, there's more dudes here to kill. I do like that technically you have infinite ammo. Loading. He's just gonna stand there and let me kill him, I guess. Finding some great swords. They're almost like space the dwarves gnomes. They run all the factories, oversee maintenance, that kind of thing. Yeah. And um Each ship has one of like their own, right? Usually. At least when the one part of the Imperium. I know the Baleful Eater could at least had one. That had been with it like since the beginning. I think the name was the Lunaris or something like that. Walk up and killed that guy, two of them, before anybody in this group even like reacted. That's all that's here, guys. Just a little more EXP. Might as well grab over here, right?
Each ship has at least one tech priest to oversee maintenance. Yeah, technically those space marine ships won't have a tech priest because they'd have a tech marine that functions in that capacity. Okay. What about PMX ships? Unlock perk. Artificial organs. Plus 1% max HP regeneration. 3,005, uh, plus 500 HP, minus 35% inoculator effectiveness. I'm gonna pass a reward. Uh, 10% supreme hit, uh, crit chance, uh, critical hit chance, and 40% critical hit chance for 5 seconds on use. Ooh, whole 5 seconds. But to pass a skill point, so. Alright, let's see here. We're gonna put another point in here. More movement speed, heck yeah. Okay. Cool. We're probably going to be getting uh, these two next time. Aren't the greatest, but this here is going to be good. Camera's gonna be right back, guys. Alright, let's look at our gear we got. Probably a lot again. Oh, yeah. What the hell is this? Galvanic Prism. Or uh, Psalm. Plus 1% chance to reset uh, cooldown for all skills on kill. Okay. Plus 1 sec to all dots. These are sell for a ton. Holy shit. Hi, Mira. Yeah, I know you're very many. This holy sensor is way better. At least the thunderbolt of authority on hit taken. Ooh, this is better than my eye implant. Yeah, slightly better. Alright, I'm gonna take a moment here to go through all these. The signums I find I have a much lower time finding ones that are better. Okay, unfortunately none of these are. So let's go talk to you. Sell off uh, everything that isn't whatever the hell those are, because I don't know how to use those. A lot of money for those, though. Okay, so. Nothing in our mailbox. As I've already explained, I must find the martyr, and I think you can help me. Correct. I am a grade five techno archaeologist researching relics tied to the martyr, and an archivist of the unverified existence of Uther Tiberius. Did you help Cloisterheim find the martyr? We supplied the Inquisitor with the artifact allegedly crafted by Uther Tiberius, codenamed Uther's Tarot. It is a psychoactive set of cards. I can grant you access to my scriptorium subroutines for more information. So Cloisterheim has this Uther's Terror, which led him to the Martyr? How will this help me? According to current research, Uther Tiberius gave sets of this tarot to his acolytes to enable communication through visions for the advancement of his grand plan. And if I had another set of these mysterious artifacts, I could contact Cloisterheim and find the Martyr, right? Only one remaining set is known to exist. Location, Vault Zeta 11. Jurisdiction, Adeptus Mechanicus. Current status, complete lockdown. Reasons, classified. Location coordinates are being exploded to your navigator as we speak. I'm going to investigate the place. You stay on my ship until then. Acknowledged, triggering mind cleansing sounds, type 3.43. Standing by. 
Here, you can break down your unwanted items from inventory to gain resources from them. The more unique the item is, the more valuable materials you will gain from, uh, from to craft new items. Note that salvage items will be lost permanently. Okay. Use these quick salvage options so you can salvage all your items of a specific variety. Okay, that's good. I was, uh, yeah. This shows uh, the predicted chance of materials you can gain by salvaging uh, the selected item. You can upgrade the tech power level that increases this chance at the tech tree. Here you can see the actual materials harvested. Here you can find material resources that can be used to craft new items. You can gain materials by salvaging items or can find them during missions. Right. Here you can craft new items from the blueprints you have learned so far. You can select which type of blueprints you want. You have three artificer blueprints at the beginning. You can learn new ones, even creating relic items. You can achieve precious uh, blueprints from loot crates via finished missions and by boosting your influence from the sy in systems or simply buy new ones from Captain Ragnar Vetlinter at the uh, command bridge. Note that you can only craft limited uh, at limited times from Archaeotech Arche Relic and Ancient Relic blueprints. Here, you can modify the enchantments of your items if they have crafting capacity points. You can reroll values or even whole enchant itself for a decent amount of credits and materials, of course. Reroll enchantments in the values one by one. First, you have to research this ability at the tech tree. Okay. Here, you can reroll re the enchantments of a selected item for a random, or for a random. Be careful, every new world costs a crafting capacity. Okay, so you can do this and it'll cost 6,000 credits and we can get, uh, like, reflected. Let's say I did this, right? That is to upgrade or unlock new crafting function. The tech power increases chance to successfully salvage. Okay, there's a lot here. The tech power level by researching new techniques with tech priest. New mod A5 functions. Oh, it costs a lot. We will have new American values of items. There, so we'll unlock that one. Base attributes, that's plus his tech power. Increase the chance of successful salvage by 30%. I just like not learn that. Research unavailable, okay. Improves quality of base attributes of items by 20% while crafting from blueprints, but also increases the credit cost by 30%. We'll do this one as well. Oh, wait, no, we won't. Apparently. Oh, okay. Uh, they cost fate as well to do this, so. Yeah, I, I don't have enough fate, but I have the money. Alright, we'll worry about that later. Uh, for now. Uh. This is a better one I got. Let's look for a new mission. Alright, the Abandoned Forge. You know what, guys? Before we do this, uh, I am going to take our next break just because uh, it's very close to that anyway. So let's do that, and then we will uh, kick off our next uh, next mission here. Don't go anywhere.